Hello my fellow beekeepers. On the last video, the Beetle Barrier 2.0, it's a new updated version, I got a lot of emails from people who said they really couldn't see up close what the frame looked like and how I was constructing it. So I replied to them that I'm going to make one more video and it's all going to be close up so you can clearly see what I'm doing on here. So what it is, is the first thing you want to do is take that two inch, and for our European friends, that's three millimeter mesh, and that's two inches wide, and you nail it to the length of the, the frame, and this is a three quarter inch frame that you're going to construct for the size of your box. So you're going to nail the mesh down first. Now next, you're going to st staple down the never wet coated aluminum barriers. Now this is an inch and a quarter now. I went out to an inch and a quarter for more protection because the baffles here or the uh, flanges, or, or I'm sorry, the mesh will compensate for that. So after all this stuff is stapled down, what you want to do, come over here, is you want to take the mesh that's flat and now you want to bend it up all the way across. As you can see all the way around it's bent up. Now this screw once again is here so that the front entrance board won't warp, it keeps pressure up on it. So after that you come over here and you're going to place it on your bottom board. <clears throat> Take a piece of quarter inch ply board and you can use this for a spacer. And what you want to do is make sure that the gap between the bottom board, be it screened or, or solid, is not more than or not less than a quarter of an inch. If it's less than a quarter of an inch, believe it or not, those beetles could probably climb up on it. So you want it a quarter inch up to three-eighths of an inch. Wherever it's a little bit um, um, sticking up too high, make it a little bit lower so the bees can get over it easier. And what I'm expecting to happen with this new idea is that we use the board as the bees entrance. As the bees are entering and we all know the bees are so smart when you change an entrance location they're quickly to find it and adapt to get back up in the hive. So the bees are going to come in, they're going to walk underneath that mesh and as they come in, once they're inside the hive they're going to actually just walk up on the mesh or the hardware cloth in the US we call it and get into the comb and into the hive. And what I'm expecting is that, so all the forager bees are now coming in, walking up on the mesh, they're leaving this never wet coated flange completely alone, so the thousands and thousands of bees that come and go, they're just going to walk up the ramp. You know, bees or any living creature is just like electricity and water. They take the least path of resistance. So they're not going to, you know, walk around, walk around and try to find another way up. They're going to just go from the floor to this little ramp of mesh then up into the hive. So <clears throat> hopefully this close-up will help you when you construct yours. Now I made a couple other different variations because I don't know with this extra three-quarter inch probably some hives will do it, probably some won't, is build comb on the bottom of the hives to compensate for the extra space. So on this one what I did is it's constructed the same as the first, you know, with the mesh and everything else, but I put a piece of polyethylene netting on top so this will re look to the bees like the, the screen bottom and, you know, prevent them from building comb on the bottom. The bees may not, I don't know, this is just a variation I wanted to try. And this other one is actually, the flange is bent at a 90 degree and I put a little bit of black um, a hot melt glue gun all the way around it. Just for, once again, another variation just to see how they react to it. But they're all basically the same principle. The mesh, the never wet coated flanges, and they're all mounted on a three quarter inch board. Which will fit whatever size hive you want. So, once you've got your your um, beetle barrier down there, you're going to put your high body on, fasten it down, and away we go. 
So hopefully this will uh, clarify any questions anybody had out there. Now, I'm going to stick these on tomorrow morning while it's still cool because it's rather hot here in northwest Florida. I'm going to stick them on. i got three hives that are very populated, so it'll be a good test to see how they react to it. And uh, I think the first video I'm going to shoot will be in three days after I put it on. That way it'll be a good indication of what they're going to do and how they're reacting to the, the, the little ramp on the inside. And um, then I'll shoot every two weeks after that just to see how the, the durability of the Neverwet is and if they're building any burr comb under the frames. And it'll tell me and it'll tell you too what's going on with it. So anyway, hope that helps. And um, other than that, have a good day and good luck with your bees.